Okay guys, I'm here today on behalf of myself, B-Boy Stylistics, and my crew, BioFreaks, presenting to you guys a B-Twist or Butterfly Twist tutorial. Hope you enjoy and learn something. Yeah, be safe. Make sure you guys stretch out, stretch your legs, um, your arms and shoulders, and your core. Stretch that out, just stretch it out. And I'll be teaching it to you in two parts and two versions. So the first part is going to be the setup and the second part is going to be the actual bead twist. The second version is just the standing bead twist. So hopefully you guys can hear me alright and see everything. Here we go. The setup is going to be like this. If you're more comfortable taking off your left foot for like aerials and stuff you're gonna set up like this if you're with your right foot go the other way set up you're just gonna stand in a stand similar like this should be about one two of your own feet distances apart from here you're gonna step over with your right foot you're gonna step over that's it. That's step one. Just step over. So the step should be the same space as the current space. Step over. Step two. You're going to step over again. Step behind. So it's all going the same direction. So say I'm looking down. I'm going counterclockwise. I'm going to be going counterclockwise for both steps. So I'm going to step and step. That's two steps. Easy. That's it. So it's just going to be set up, start, facing this way, step. On this step, when you plant, you want to go lower, lower a little bit. Just a little bit. And then this one, the second step, you want to drag your foot out long. Almost like you're doing a really low hook kick. So from here, Step one, down, step two, like that. And you should end up in this stance facing that direction. So again, going over it again, you go one, two. So you're in this direction, your head's facing this way, look this way the whole time. So you're gonna bring your chest down, your chest will lead you, your arms stay in. Don't leave them out here, keep them in. Your chest is going to go into a circular motion like that. That's called the dip. So from here, your chest goes out a little bit, out a little bit, and then down and up. So you're going to end up, your chest is going to go from this way, down, facing this way. So it's going to look something like this, like that. But remember, arms in, arms in. So it's going to look like this that. And the main part of the B-twist is the torque. So practice the torque. Practice just throwing your arms over really, really hard. Like so hard that with a little jump and you do your torque, you should be able to spin all the way around. So with a little jump and the torque, you should be able to spin all the way around. That's how hard you need a torque. So summon it all up again. From here, step. Lower, from here, dip. Okay, so that's the setup. That's part one. Part two is the actual B twist. So after the setup, go practice the setup. Now after the setup, you're right here. So you're right here, and you're right here. Make sure you bend your legs, bend your knees. When you go down, bend your knees, and then spring them up. Just bounce them up like you're jumping and so this this your back leg which is my right leg is gonna go straight up straight up like that so just from right here it's gonna go straight up like that my planted leg which is my left leg it's gonna push up just like a regular jump so this leg jumps this leg pushes up so 
it would look something like this with the setup. But I'm just going to do a butterfly kick just to show you the setup, how it works. Just going. That was bad. Jeez. Grass is kind of wet, sorry. So. Felt bad, but. Yeah. It's going to look. The setup is like that. So. Again. Step, turn, knees down, chest facing this way. Up. And this is like pushes. This is when your torque comes. Right when this leg pushes, this leg is going to go up and push at the same time. That's when your legs, your arms swing over. When your arms swing over, it's going to be like this. You're going to want to whip your, whip your head around. You'll turn all the way around, spot your landing. The ground would be somewhere around right here if I'm in the air. You're going to go, turn like this, spot your landing, stick out your left foot right when you see the ground. Stick out your left foot, and you should fall, fall onto the floor, one leg at a time. So it'll release the pressure a little bit. Land on the balls of your foot, not your whole foot or your heel. Balls of the feet, both sides. So if you have any questions, just comment or send me a message. So here is the full B-twist, and then I'll do another one afterwards too. Let me empty my pockets. Again, here's the B-twist. That was kind of low, but remember to kick up and jump up. That'll get you most of your height, and that'll get you to be able to do the, more time to do the twist. All right, so another example, slow motion. There's John. What is that, Dion? We can see right through your pants. I know. I don't care. Now, for the standing B twist, it's just the same thing but without the two steps. <laughs> without the two steps. So, the setup that I just taught was like this. You're gonna delete this part out, out of the equation. So standing B-twist, you're just going to start out like this, and everything else is the same. You might have to push harder and kick up harder, but other than that, everything is the same. So right here, your chest, out, down, over, right here, kick up and push up, twist your head, twerk your arms, you're in the air, spot the ground, land one foot at a time. Boom, boom. Standing B twist. And there you have it. Butterfly twist. Standing and with the setup. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Don't hurt yourselves. If you hurt yourselves, it's not my fault. Um, yeah, if you try, try it on grass or tramp, don't trampoline. You can try it on a trampoline, but. It's not going to be the same thing as doing it on grass. To, just to get the upper body motion, you could do it on a trampoline. Um, gymnastics floor, you can do it on that. Or just any mats you have. And you could try doing it into like a pile of pillows for a soft landing. And yeah, good luck. Um, comment for more details. I tried to be as thorough as I can. And sorry the grass was a little wet. Yeah. Thank you.